Brakta Yahawa, Brakta Yahusha, Brakta Yahawa, Brakta Yahusha, Bahashem, Rekakodash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching the truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Understanding the Medical Procedure Skin Graft. Romans 11 and 16 For if the first fruits be holy the lump is also holy and if the roots be holy so are the branches and if some of the branches be broken off and thou being a wild olive tree wert grafted in among them and with them partakes of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Lord, will you are edified. When we revert back to Romans 11 and 17, and thou, who is Apostle Paul speaking to? James 1 and 1, James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord Yahusha Mashiach to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting, keep this precept in mind. Romans 1 and 7, to all that be in Rome. James 1 and 1. James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. Okay. Scattered abroad, hence Rome, Italy. Back into Romans 1 and 7. To all that be in Rome, beloved of the Most High, called to be saints. Psalm 148 and 14. He, referring to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints even of the sons of Israel. Okay. The Israelites are identified as the saints. Okay. A people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh. Back into Romans 1 and 7. Grace to you and peace from the Most High our Father and the Lord Yahusha Mashiach. Romans 11 and 1. I say then have the Most High cast away his people. The Most High forbid. For I also am an Israelite. And this is Apostle Paul speaking of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Keep this in mind. Romans 11 and 16. For if the first fruits be holy, first fruit referring to the southern kingdom, the lump also holy. And the lump is referring to the tribe of Judah. And out of the tribe of Judah, you have Yahweh Shai. He is a Judite. And if the roots be holy, so are the branches. The branches is referring to the southern kingdom. Okay. Comprised of the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Levi, and the tribe of Benjamin. Verse 17. And if some of the branches, 
hence the southern kingdom be broken off and thou and thou is referring to Israelite foreigners unnatural Gentiles being a wild olive tree were grafted in among them grafted means a cutting keep this in mind and with them partakes of the root and fatness of the olive tree all right and the latter part of the scripture means or is referring to judah being that head tribe okay let's focus on grafted in the greek Strong's G, 1461, Egg Cantrizo, Egg Now, according to outline of biblical usage, to cut in two for the sake of inserting a scion. Okay. And a scion is defined as, according to the um, Oxford American Writers Thesauruses, descendant. But let's continue. According to New Oxford American Dictionary, a descendant of a notable family, hence Israelites. Okay. That became Gentiles because of the scattering, because of slavery, because of indoctrinations through traditions that lost the old paths, meaning what? The laws, the statutes, the commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Unnatural Gentiles. Now it makes sense. A descendant of a notable family. The family is what? Israelites. The descendants. Gentiles. Which were unnatural. Why? Because they were Israelites. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree were grafted in among them. The reason why these individuals were grafted in among them is because they were uh Salakia, Salakia. They were Israelites of the stock of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? According to healthline.com, skin graft. What is a skin graft? Skin grafting is a surgical procedure that involves removing skin from one area of the body and moving it or transplanting it to a different area of the body. For example, you have a person that is a bad diabetic and he has a wound on his leg and that wound is not healing so what the surgeon would do is take skin from one area of this person's body and place this skin on this person's wound to assist with the healing process and this skin is coming from the same person just from a different area of this person's body that surgeon would not get skin from that person's uncle or mother okay it's coming from his body his body and the reason why I use this surgical procedure as an example is because thou is referring to Israelites that became degenerates, okay? 
And the reason why they were able to be grafted in among them is because they were Israelites. Point blank period. The surgery may be done if a part of your body has lost its protective covering of skin due to burns, injury, or illness. So back into the scripture. And if some of the branches be broken off, referring to the southern kingdom, and thou, you Gentiles who are a natural Gentiles who are Israelites being a wild olive tree were grafted in among them and with them partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Okay. When you read this in context, it only makes sense Apostle Paul is referring to Israelites. Verse 25. For I will not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery. Okay, the mystery of what? The unnatural Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners. Least ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles who are Israelites become in. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written there shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Lord will your edify shalom.